Mass media goons are still reporting that Biden is getting tough on Netanyahu. Another day, another Axios article falsely asserting that President Biden is really getting tough on Benjamin Netanyahu. In a write-up titled, Biden warns Netanyahu against escalation as risk of regional war grows, Barak Ravid reports that while Biden has pledged to support Israel against any strikes from Iran in retaliation for its insanely escalatory assassination of Hamas political leader Ismail Haniyeh in Tehran, he also told Netanyahu that he expects no more escalation from the Israeli side from here on out. President Biden privately demanded in a tough call Thursday that Israeli Prime Minister Benjamin Netanyahu stop escalating tensions in the region and move immediately toward a Gaza hostage and ceasefire deal, writes Ravid, citing two U.S. officials who, as usual, remain unnamed. At the end of the meeting with Netanyahu in the Oval Office last Thursday, Biden became emotional, raised his voice, and told Netanyahu he needs to reach a Gaza deal as soon as possible, three Israeli officials with knowledge of the meeting told Axios, Ravid reports. Ravid writes, quote, One U.S. official said Biden complained to Netanyahu that the two had just spoken last week in the Oval Office about securing the hostage deal, but instead Netanyahu went ahead with the assassination in Tehran. Biden then told Netanyahu the U.S. will help Israel defeat an Iranian attack, but after that he expects no more escalation from the Israeli side and immediate movement toward a hostage deal, the U.S. officials said. End quote. Sure, sure. This time, Biden really means it when he draws a firm line with Israel. Unlike all those other times when this administration has continued to back Israel's psychopathic actions unconditionally since October 7th. Commentators on U.S. foreign policy are less than impressed with this report. It's the umpteenth installment of Biden is secretly mad at Bibi. He became emotional. He raised his voice, tweeted the economist's Greg Carlstrom. Can't imagine anyone takes these self-serving leaks seriously. Least of all Netanyahu, who has ignored Biden with impunity for 10 months. Biden reportedly told Netanyahu he'll help defeat an Iranian attack, but expects no more escalation from Israel, warning Netanyahu that he shouldn't count on the U.S. to bail him out again, tweeted Quincy Institute's Trita Parsi adding, fine, but given Biden's record, why should Netanyahu believe him? Barak Ravid has made an entire career out of writing up these anonymously sourced White House press releases about how badass and ungenocidal the president is and packaging them as real news stories. Here are some of the headlines from Ravid's reporting since October. Biden running out of patience with Bibi as Gaza war hits 100 days. Scoop. Biden in frustrating call told Bibi to solve Palestinian tax issue. Biden's ultimatum to Bibi. Change Gaza policy or we will. White House temperature is very high ahead of Biden-Bibi call. We won't support you. Inside Biden's ultimatum to Bibi. Israel and U.S. deeply divided in meeting on key Rafa operation issues. Biden and Bibi red lines for Rafa put them on a collision course. Biden Bibi clash escalates as U.S. accused of undermining Israeli government. Biden and Netanyahu hold first call in a month amid public split. Biden breaks with Netanyahu but sticks with Israel. Biden on hot mic told Bibi we needed come-to-Jesus meeting on Gaza. Biden, in rare criticism, warns Netanyahu that Israel risks losing global support. Biden, in rare criticism of Bibi, says pause in Gaza fighting should have come sooner. Scoop. Blinken warns Israeli officials global pressure will grow longer war goes on. Israeli minister lambasted at White House about Gaza and war strategy. Scoop. Biden tells Bibi he's not in it for a year of war in Gaza. Blinken unloads on Bibi. You need a coherent plan or face disaster in Gaza. Scoop. White House cancels meeting. Scolds Netanyahu in protest over video. Netanyahu irked by critical Harris comments. This is just one guy from just one outlet. 
These Biden is very upset with Netanyahu and wants him to be different reports have been coming out throughout the U.S. media since the early weeks of this ongoing mass atrocity, all of which are flatly contradicted by the White House taking zero meaningful action this entire time to rein in Israel's demented genocidal aggressions. And to be clear, none of this is actually news. Anonymous sources say X, Y, and Z about how the president's feelings are feeling is not a news story. These reports serve no purpose other than to create distance in the eyes of the American public between the genocidal monster Benjamin Netanyahu and the president who is unconditionally supporting his genocidal atrocities in every way possible. They are PR spin and nothing more which would be surprising to anyone who still believes the mainstream Western press exists to report the news instead of promulgate propaganda to advance the information interests of the Western Empire. All they're doing here is trying to wash this administration's hands of the horrors that are being inflicted in the Middle East with the direct facilitation of this administration. Don't let them. All the monstrous actions being perpetrated by Israel today are just as much the fault of the U.S. government as they are of Israel itself. This is who they are. Make them own it.